The drugs in the ampules were made from human brains. So, you found out. I heard a researcher. She said that Yuito and his team saw the heads. Calm down, Naomi. I can't do this anymore. If I had known it came from human brains, I would have told them no. It's a cruel reality. But without these drugs, it wouldn't be possible to talk with you like this. Yes, I know. Brains? <laughs> that makes me no different <laughs> from the others. That's not true. You're still you. <laughs> Thank you. But I have to be honest. This is too much for me. I can't do it. I don't want to live if it means other people have to die. Wait! I'll find a way to turn you back, so please don't give up! I'm sorry. Please, I need to be alone. Naomi... You undisciplined rats! I know you can hear me. Get out of Naomi's room now! Major General Karin, you're here at the facility? I'll tell you about the research they do here. Now get out of there so Naomi can calm down. Let's go. I'll be back, Naomi. I'm sorry, Kasane. <laughs> so, Seiron isn't as unified as I had thought. First, I think you owe us rats an apology for stringing us along through all this. Who owes who now? Huh? I don't care about an apology. Have you found a way to turn Naomi back? If she stays here, she's... Not yet. I'll keep Naomi's psychological well-being in mind, but this facility is the best chance she has. Even if we manage to pacify Naomi, she'll have to continue taking the ampules. He'll be able to do it. Why is Seiron conducting research like this? What are they planning on doing to others using human brains? I suppose I should tell you what Seiron and Suo's true motives are. It all comes down to how each city views others and the Extinction Belt. The Extinction Belt? Suo wants to eliminate the Extinction Belt to stop the others while Seiron believes they need the Extinction Belt. The differing views of the Extinction Belt is the root of Suo and Seiron's conflict. I might not agree with their methods, but I can understand Suo's position. Seiron, on the other hand... Why do they think the Extinction Belt is necessary? That's where the others come from. Seiron is pursuing their counter-other research while avoiding the elimination of the Extinction Belt. Kagura, what do you think would happen if the Extinction Belt disappeared? Um, no idea. Why are you asking me? Never mind. In any case, I don't care about what either side wants. More importantly, Kasane. W what What you did here was reckless. I only did what I could for Naomi. Seiron's threats aren't just a bargaining strategy. Watch what you leak to Yuito, and be careful you don't do anything that would put Naomi in danger. <sighs> That's all for now. No, we're not done here. We still have questions. Remember your roles. That will help Naomi more than anything. He looked like he was in a hurry. I wonder if something happened. It's painstakingly obvious that Karin is still hiding information from us. Listen, we've just been through a lot. I think we should go back to the hideout and get some rest. Yes. 
Hold on, Naomi. I promise I'm going to save you. Welcome back, everyone. You've come here as well. I was afraid I might run into that government official if I went back to headquarters. I'm sorry. Forcing the guy's hand by threatening to put him on the record must have put you in an awkward position. His face was beet red. It was hilarious. If I saw him in person, I would have laughed right in his face. Oh, I would have loved to see that. That bastard totally deserves it. I can't leave Naomi there. I have to hurry and find a way to turn her back. Can I really rely on Karin? You don't look so well. Hey, you better not be thinking about running off on your own to save the day again. No, don't worry. I'm not. Karin mentioned that my power was connected in some way to saving my sister. He did mention that, didn't he? Sure didn't make an effort or even care to explain himself, though. I thought with everything that happened at the other research facility, Naomi would be protected if I asked him. But now, I'm not so sure. There's still so much I don't know. That's true. But to be honest, we barely know anything about the others. That laboratory holding Naomi has the most advanced research on them. So, there's something I've been wondering about that place. You know that truck that you escorted? Wasn't it from Togetsu? Yes. While there were no records, judging from its route, there's no mistake it came from Togetsu. Considering the cargo it was carrying, I feel like Togetsu must be connected to the other research somehow. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Togetsu is not that kind of place. All right. You're from there and you follow their faith. It's a religious community that worships the moon. I've never even heard them say anything about others. But with all that cargo they're providing, they must be connected in some way or another. Togetsu has a long history, and managed to establish a different culture from Suo or Seiron. That alone sets it apart. I think it's safe to assume that they have information that would prove useful to us. I've never actually considered Togetsu before, but you might be onto something given the situation. We might find a clue there that will help Naomi. You're really going there? You won't find much. I can honestly say I don't know of any place less exciting. What do you want to do? Let's go to Togetsu. For real? Weren't you even listening? Karin told us not to do anything that had upset Seiron. But I don't fully trust him. If we don't know what he knows or what he's hiding, then we don't have a choice. Then what about Naomi? It might not be a bluff next time. Haruka, I have a favor to ask. I'll keep an eye on Seiron and the research facility, and contact you if there's any change. Thank you. I owe you one. Well, let's get ready to go to Togetsu. Oh boy, I don't like the way this is going. Should I talk to Shiden? Hey, Kagero. What debt was Major General Karin talking about? I don't know. Maybe he was mistaken. Or he was bluffing. I see.
Oh, Kasane, would you like to talk about gardening? Sure, if you don't mind. This is more than just herbs. Yes, I like growing plants because it's fun hearing their different voices. You don't literally mean a plant's voice, right? No, because plants can't speak. That's why the person who's growing them needs to imagine what they're saying. Over here. Follow me. I'll show you what I mean. She's rather assertive when it comes to plants. Looking at the flower beds in cities like this, you can tell how they've grown and what condition they're in. This flower may look like it's growing healthy, but if you look carefully, you can see the bottom leaves are changing colors. It's sick. However, the branches and roots are fine, so I think it will recover if you snip off the sick leaves and give it medicine. Oh, these are all healthy, but there is a lot of water building up here, which could cause the roots to decay. You should exchange the soil for some with better water drainage. Oh. I'm sorry. I was blabbering again. No, I'm impressed. Not only are you knowledgeable, you're perceptive enough to notice so much from their appearance. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not just from their appearance. I'm using my clairvoyance to see below the dirt. I can tell everything you normally can't see, from the condition of the roots to the quality of the soil, so it's kind of like cheating. Well, I don't think I would call that cheating. You're just putting your power to use. Besides, your knowledge and gardening experience determine the condition of the plant, not your power. Thank you. Oh, and of course you can garden without clairvoyance. I felt the same back during the military exercises, but the ability to scout anywhere makes her power an important asset. On top of that, she understands her power and has learned to use it well. She would be an outstanding team member. Kasane? What's wrong? Tsugumi, would you come with me? Huh? What do you mean? I mean just that. I want you to come to Seiron and fight alongside me. No. Well, it's not just for me. And I know this is a bit unfair for me to say, but I need your help for Naomi, too. I'm sorry about Naomi, but I already decided I would fight with Yuito. Even if it means having to fight me? Yes. When that time comes, I won't lose. Alright. If that's how you feel, I'll give up on trying to recruit you. However, please don't expect me to go easy on you either. That's okay. We'll still win. <laughs> oh, look. What is it? The inside of this tree is mostly rotten. It's been infected by a fungus that's consumed it from the trunk to its roots. You can't save it? It's too far gone. If we leave it, the wind might blow it over. In that case, I think it's best if we dispose of it now. I can use my psychokinesis to uproot it. Don't say it like that! It could lead to an accident if it suddenly fell over. The tree is dying anyway. We should deal with it. This tree is alive, too. It's been sick and suffering, half dead, and you're talking about it like it's garbage. You're right. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be so insensitive. Uh, I'm sorry too. I know you're right. It's already too late, and our only option is to cut it down. But that's why we need to care. This tree has watched over everyone its whole life. I think it's important for us to show it the proper respect to the end. Yes. Thank you for understanding. Oh, also that shrubbery over there. She has more depth than I thought. She's quiet, 
But she doesn't just do what she's told. She has a hidden strength. How strange. I feel like we would really get along. Kasane, are you listening? I'd like for you to pay attention here. Don't worry, I'm listening. You can talk as much as you want. I think Suo and Seiron are both hiding something. Karin's true motives are still a mystery. I wonder what he's after. All we can do is keep moving and watch them. Man, this is going to be such a pain. 